We were in the extraordinary position of simply not being able to answer questions about the level of benefit tourism, about the number of people who'd entered the country uh, as overseas nationals who were on benefits. We're changing all of that now so that when we introduce the universal credit in 2013, we will create, collect the data. But we've done this exercise so we can give a true picture now. This is all about dealing with benefit tourism uh, and also making sure that when people do claim uh, benefits in the UK that they're getting money they're entitled to. We've been able to narrow down and identify from a sample we did in the whole about three quarters of those who are receiving benefits and almost all of those are perfectly legitimate, they're now British nationals uh, or they've got indefinite leave to remain here. A very small number there's real question marks about and investigators are now looking at their cases uh, and will take action as appropriate. There's around a quarter we've not yet been able to identify Within that, there may be a hidden issue, there may not, it may just be a question of spelling mistakes, uh, but I want to be able to look people in the eye and say we've got a system that's being cleaned up, uh, that isn't the mess that was left behind by the previous government, and where we can be confident we know the degree of the challenge represented by benefit tourism, whether we've got a fraud issue, whether all of this is in good shape.